Hi everyone, welcome to Naraisha Technologies, this is Srinivas. So, in this video, so I am going to explain set collection type in Python. In a previous videos, we have seen as a list and a tuple collections. So, here now today I am going to explain how set object works, what is the set functionality, what type of elements we can store, all the things we will see. Here, as we are opening ideally, how can we represent the set? How can we create the set? For example, set S is equal to, we are representing with a curly braces, braces. We are storing the elements into set. After that, so I am displaying the set. Look at this. In which order we are inserting the elements? In the same order, elements will not be displayed. So, nothing but set is not an ordered collection that is. So, in random order elements will be processed. Here can we store different types of elements like we can say heterogeneous elements can we store or not into the set, into the set like 10, 10, comma 20, comma 2.3, comma A, B, C some string we are storing different types of elements can we store or not yes allowed but of course as a random order so here different types of objects like elements only elements allowed into set now the next feature can we store the duplicates into set s is equal to set here it is a 10, 20, 30, again 10, 20, again 10, 20, we are storing like this. Duplicate elements we are storing. In the time, means what at the time of construction only, all the duplicates will be removed. Set elements will be removed. Here, duplicates, duplicates not allowed. Only unique elements allowed. So, we can use set in hashing technique, hashing techniques and all we will see. Here, here it is a duplicates not allowed, all the duplicates will be removed automatically. And next one, here into the set, suppose a set we are taking like some values 10, 20, 30, 40. Sir, can I access the elements through indexing and slicing? Here, how can we guarantee that? At a particular index, the element will be present. No, set is not an ordered collection. So, we cannot access the elements using their index because at what index, what is the element that we cannot understand. So, that is the reason indexing and slicing not allowed. If you try, it will give error clearly. Set object does not support indexing error type error the exception will rise that is set does not allow indexing and slicing because set is not an ordered collection. Now, we are checking set is a mutable or not. So, mutable means what it is allowed to modify after creation. Immutable means what is constant once the set has been created that cannot be modified. So, here we are storing, for example, for example, we are taking the set S equal to some element just like 10, 20 we are taking, 10, 20. Now, here whenever we are checking S dot, it will show the list. See, it is allowing to add, suppose 30 added and we are printing that 30 added. Next one, here it is a S dot. Here it is a function for example, discard function is there. Whatever the element you specify, that element will be removed. Here whenever we are printing that only 10 and 30 present. So, whenever it is allowed to add and remove the elements from the set, set is mutable. It is not constant because modifications allowed. Just like the list, set is also mutable object. So, we can modify, we can modify only indexing and slicing is not allowed. Here, we cannot process elements using indexing, indexing and slicing. Here it is a set is mutable, modification methods, modification methods provided, 
nothing but predefined by set object by set object we can modify the set after this and set is allowed to store what type of elements and how can we perform the mathematical set operations like intersection right union all the things we will see in the next video hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narayshati channel thank you